Hi everyone, my name is Bharat and I have pursued my MTech from IIT Hyderabad in microelectronics and PLSI and I have got an opportunity uh, to sit for the placements and I have got placed in Samsung Semiconductor India Research, Bangalore. So through the campus placements, I got this opportunity as an RTL presentation. Four rounds basically mentioned by the company. Uh, for me, there was three rounds. So first round was a written test. Second, two technical rounds were there. And last one was HR round. So for me, one technical round happened. Uh, mixed together of two rounds. Uh, like the company came for the two profiles. One was analog and one for digital. So one student can apply for only one profile. So I choose digital. So for the digital profile, there was 48 questions. And it was around 48 questions, which you have to complete it within 58 minutes. And there was no negative marking. So the questions compromised of digital electronics, uh, mainly focused on digital electronics. And coming to programming section, there were two questions, around two questions. And coming to aptitude questions, there were two questions. And network theory, few questions were there. And uh, digital, you can say around 38 questions were uh, there. And there was no negative marking in this examination. All the questions were of multiple choice questions. Excuse few questions for MSQs, like there was multiple answers for that, so you have to choose it. Difficulty level was from moderate to difficult. So uh, basic uh, gate digital electronics is not uh, not sufficient. So a little bit more of uh, practice is required into this round. Uh, coming to my preparation, first like we have to complete the gate previous year questions. Uh, and coming to aptitude section, like the previous year company questions are sufficient and India picks some online websites are there, which you can practice very well. And coming to uh, STA, STA you have to practice uh, from the online sources, whatever is available, like uh, we are having many uh, courses in the YouTube. So we can practice on that. And there is one more important uh, uh, book called as DGQS, which is prepared and available in online. So it consists of a questions and answers also. So we have to be perfect in that. So for the written test, I think this is more than sufficient. For the programming questions, there are one to two questions, but uh, we can prepare from the geeks for geeks, MCQs. My technical interview lasted for around one hour, 20 minutes. And there was only one uh, person available uh, in my uh, interview panel. It was connected virtually on Samsung Knox platform itself, uh, not physical. So just my interview was started by basic introduction. He was trying to calm me down for around uh, five to 10 minutes. So he got to know about my background, my BTEC place, and uh, so everything, what are my interests, hobbies, etc. just to calm the person down. So later on, he started with the very basic uh, digital questions, like uh, building gates with using the MUX. He started with building uh, gates using the MUX. And next was like, he started with uh, CMOS inverter questions. So basically he asked about the working principle and what happens if PMOS and NMOS are inverted and like uh, voltage transfer characteristics of a CMOS uh, inverter and some basic uh, things about the CMOS inverter. And next, uh, next also some basic questions he asked on the digital side, like uh, based on JK flip-flop, what is the resonant condition and how can we eliminate it? And latch and flip-flop, what is the difference? So, uh, and next he gave one STA question. So static timing analysis question where uh, some whole time problem was coming. So he was, he asked me to eliminate it and draw the conclusions uh, with the equations. So I have done that. And next one of my project was there, which was SRAM design using six transistors and uh, analysis amplifiers. So he said me to draw the circuit and explain each and everything, how the working, how the read operation is happening, how the read operation is happening, what is what is the use of sense amplifier. He moved on very detailedly about that one. And next he moved on to uh, about cash. What are, what is a cash miss and what is cash hit and how to increase the performance and what are the different mapping techniques and different methods. And next he moved on to asking some uh, very tricky questions like what, why there is a difference in the speed of uh, when it comes to CPU as well as why, why, why memory is very slow, why the processor rate is very high. Like the speed is very high for the processor and why memory still depends slow after many decades. And few HR questions he also asked, like whether are you ready to work for Samsung or like uh, do you have any interest in startups? 
or why do you prefer Samsung? So are you ready to join? So this type of uh, small HR questions was asked in the technical field. HDL programming questions were asked, but they were very basic questions. Like few questions were asked, like uh, write a small code for some uh, flip flops or something. What is the difference between register, wire? What is the data types in that? Very small basic questions. He wanted to know just whether I know the uh, Verilog or not because uh, he was more interested in uh, the conceptual of Verilog rather than the coding. So he was more interested how much concept I'm knowing in that Verilog. So he was trying to extract that. First of all, like uh, he was very calm interviewer. So he was not uh, making me more tense. So, so this was one advantage so that I can answer almost all these questions. So he made me very calm at the beginning. So, so you can also be very calm at the beginning. So slowly I started answering the question in a detailed manner. So he also got a confidence that, okay, this person is able to answer all the basic questions. So he moved ahead with the some advanced questions. So in the coming to the memory part, I was not able to answer few questions. So he started explaining. So it's fine. If you are not knowing uh, what to answer, you can just say, yes, I don't know. So it was a very good discussion. So I basically approached in a manner uh, very interactively. Instead of just, I saw and I can say, just whatever I was putting on the pen of paper, I used to explain it as it was virtual interview. So I used to uh, explain each and everything. So I used to be very interactive with him. So I used to extract out information from him also. I used to give my whatever I have. So this is the way I approached basically. So I felt few of the memory questions were tough, but other than that, the interview went on very smooth. He said to write on the A4 sheet and you show it. So that is the reason I was not having any that type of facility. So I just uh, drew on the pen, uh, then the A4 sheet and I was explaining it. So at last he used to say, just show me the final output. So instead of just waiting for him to say, show me the final output, I was explaining each and every part which I was putting on the paper. So he was very impressed by that. Yeah, first of all, you have to be very thorough with your resume. So what and all you have mentioned in your resume. So they are going to pinpoint it and ask the questions about that. So coming to the Samsung interview, it depends upon the panel. So for me, it was from memory panel and he saw my project one was from memory project and he saw in my resume that COI was available. So he was more interested towards that. So coming to the topics which everyone should learn is coming uh, basic gate digital electronics should be must. We should be very thorough in combinational circuits, sequential circuits and logics and how to eliminate these conditions. And second, most important thing is ST, static timing analysis. You should be very thorough in this uh, static timing analysis, like coming to hold time, set up time, meta stability, how to eliminate it. And uh, next few things were like, I took up additionally and I have read this computer organization. So it's an optional. So if you want, you can study or if you don't want, you can leave it. But few basics are important in computer architecture, like coming to assembly language or uh, coming to cache, especially cache is very important topic in that. So that was there. And other than that, we have to learn very long. Very log test benches is important. Very log codes are important. And few basic codes, FSM, how to write an FSM code. So these are things uh, are very important uh, for any in any company, not only in the Samsung. So yeah, coming to my resources, like first thing is the projects. For the projects, uh, I referred two resources. One is uh, one SRAM project I referred from Beste Harris. Uh, this is digital VLSI book. It's a very good book for VLSI design as well as for the SRAM project. So coming to one more project, like I have done the MIPS 32-bit architecture process. So for that, I referred uh, Indonesian Sankutta, which is available in the NPTEL. So along with that project, I have learned also how to learn Verilog and how the test benches are there. So this uh, gave me an overall idea about the Verilog. So uh, again, coming to Rabe, Rabe, you can refer the CMOS inverters and etc. So this, this Rabe and Veste Harris are almost same for which are used for the VLSA design. You can refer any one of the book. Both are excellent books for uh, design purpose. So next is uh, DGQS is one of the very important resource which is available free source in the internet as well as LinkedIn. Many people are posting. So this uh, you can refer. So these are the various resources which I have uh, uh, 
referred for my interview as well as my written test. Yeah, the first uh, step of my preparation was to solve the previous year gate questions. So uh, previous year gate questions I have solved completely digital digital electronics especially. So gate questions are very important to skip that. This is the basic foundation of uh, written test especially. So coming to aptitude, aptitude uh, we used to practice uh, from the previous questions. So previous year papers will be having seniors will be sharing that or which is available in the internet also of that particular company. You can solve this type of questions or India Wix is available for uh, solving aptitude questions. So aptitude is not that much difficult as per my opinion. You can solve the previous year questions. No separate preparation is required. So just while solving the papers, we will get an idea, overall idea what the company is expecting from us in the written test. So for example, if I am not able to uh, know any topics while uh, doing the uh, previous year papers, so I used to refer, uh, refer it, come back and refer it. And again, I used to go solve the previous year questions. So these are the ways which I prepared. Like you can form a group of four to five people, which is very good for discussion purpose. So you have to solve the paper alone. And after that, you can discuss the uh, discuss these answers, whether it's correct or not. A technical, good technical discussion will uh, will improve your skills in both interview also, both interview as well as your preparation also. So HR round was lasted around 20 minutes. So HR round, very casual it was. So when she asked me about a brief introduction and about my projects, especially she was interested in my projects. And she asked like, why Samsung? Why are you preferring over the other companies? And what do you know about the Samsung? And she asked, what type of role are you interested in and why? And she started sharing a few insights about the work culture of the Samsung Semiconductor and her experience. And it was very short and it was very in a fun, a very casual interview. So there was nothing uh, much technical in this, very casual. She was getting to know about yourself. She was asking whether you have any future plans to do anything or learn. That. So very basic questions which an HR would uh, ask. So that was uh, that's it. that was the HR round. Yeah, facing the technical uh, interviews, uh, we have to be very patient. We have to be we have to listen to the interviewers first, and we should not be never be scared of others performing in the interview. So you have to give your best. So it doesn't matter how many people are uh, in your uh, interview along with you. They might be your competitors, but it's at last it's your performance. And how you perform on that day, it uh, depends upon that one. So, so at last, the interviewer will be seeing that one. So it doesn't matter what CGPA, what, uh, how many projects you're having, how much, everything. He will just see what you have presented in that 45 minutes. So don't get, just get scared of the people and rush around you. Just give your best shot. So uh, you can do it. So I was the person who was in waiting list for the interview. I cleared and few of the people who are in main list were not able to clear. So just go with the confidence. You can definitely do it. All the best. Whoever is going to appear for the interviews in the future. All the very best. Be with confidence. And you will have a great life. Thank you.